Good morning, happy, what we're on, fourth day, Vlogmas. Um, I've not vlogged so far. I'm not doing for Vlogmas. I do not have the time or the brain power to do that. But this weekend I have been doing a bit of a vloggy diary. Um, we will see when it comes to editing whether it has panned out. So I just wanted to hop on and say hello. Um, welcome to my vloggy weekend. Um, yesterday I spent a bit of time putting up some Christmas decorations. Uh, there's still some stuff on the way in the post, so hopefully we'll add to that. This morning we are off to Cheshire Oaks. Um, it's a MacArthur Glen outlet, so we're going to do some Christmas shopping and have lunch out. So hopefully there will be some nice festive scenes that I can get a bit of footage of as well. Um, Sam has just popped in to pick up some bacon sandwiches for breakfast, making a bit of a day of it. We, well, I thought we got up loads of time this morning and then apparently I had five minutes left. So hence the appearance. Um, I tried, I didn't, didn't have enough time to try. I was going to try, but we'll see how the day goes. I hope you're having a lovely weekend and enjoying all your festive activities. Um, depending how the day goes. We'll see whether I do hop on again or not. Um, but yeah, happy Vlogmas, happy Advent. Hopefully that's what I'll do later is uh, once I get back home, pop on and show you the four days, oh, I can't remember the date today, four days of Advents that I've opened so far. Um, I bought two Advents, have a swap and then was lucky enough to win one in a giveaway. So. Uh, four lovely, lovely advents and yeah, we'll see how it goes. So have a great day and hopefully catch up with you later. shots of Cheshire Oaks and my lunch. Um, it's a really long story. We were supposed to go on Friday, took the day off work and we just didn't end up going. And the main thing I was really disappointed about was not getting my Wagamamas for lunch. Um, so we had that today. It was really, really good. It was just nice to spend the day together. Um, not much else to report. Had some just downtime this afternoon, watch the Muppets Christmas Carol. Um, any recommendations of Christmas films? Uh, so Netflix, Amazon, Disney Plus, whatever. Um, let me know in the comments because I am all for a good Christmas film. Uh, I've just come out of a two hour bath, hence the very shiny face and quite obvious pajamas. They even say, never forget your pajamas. It's a great rule of life to live by. Anyway, I thought I would just pop on very briefly. Um, I will just wind things down at the end, but just to go through very quickly the advents that I've had. So I mentioned earlier, what did I mention? So I bought two advents and we have a swap within our knitting group, the one with the knitting friends. And then I also won one as well. So the swap, I've not actually got those colours with me because I took them downstairs earlier, started working on adding them into my Cozy Memories blanket. Uh, but Ellen, thank you very much for those. The colours have been absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the chocolates are lovely. Um, I've managed to keep about half of them back from Sam before he swipes them. Um, I don't eat a lot of chocolate myself, weirdly. I like the idea of wanting chocolate, but then it comes to it and I'm just like, eh, I could take it or leave it. Um, crisps, on the other hand, savoury snacks, I am straight in there. Anyway, not talking about snacks, I am talking about Advents. So excuse any slight bustling. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna pause it for a second while I get them ready. 
Okay, I'm back. I should have sorted that before I started filming and I just realised I've only taken one out of its packaging so I'm going to have to pause and prep the next one and then anyway it'll probably make editing easier just having short clips. So the first one I've got is Giddy Yarns. This was the first one that I ordered. Um, I can't remember when it was launched actually but uh, after a bit of debating between this and another one, this is the one I chose. The colours are absolutely gorgeous. So it starts at this side, so we've got one, two, three and four. I've not actually held them up next to each other yet and I'm really enjoying seeing them like that. It's a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory theme, the Roald Dahl book, which probably most people are familiar with. Um, I went for the 10 grams, so um, I'm not sure what I'm going to make with it just yet. I need to think about that, but the colours are absolutely gorgeous. So if I just bring them a bit closer, um, hopefully you can see that and it's not focusing on my face too much. So it's kind of lovely teal. That's my absolute favourite kind of yarn colours, life, everything colours, not just yarn. I love teals and blues, so that's really, really nice. Um, these purples, really, really deep tones in that. So then going on to some slightly lighter ones. Um, this one, it's not showing up. Oh, that's a bit better. So, um, really nice, lots of kind of so blue, pink, purple flecks in that. Looks a bit pale when it's down there next to them. And then this green one, um, almost looks like blues running through that as well. So those are all absolutely gorgeous. They're the Giddy Yarns ones. Giddy Yarn ones. Um, I'm gonna pop those away and then get the next ones out. And as long as I don't have a mind blank within the next 30 seconds, I will try and prep them both ready this time. Okay, ready again. And I did remember to sort the two lots out at once. Um, I've decided to put them back in their little bags this time. This time, especially I've had Advent, so I can't even say this time. I'm putting them back in their numbered bags. Um, none of the Advents that I've got are in any sort of like fade or sequence, but I just like the idea of kind of gathering them up and looking at how they all set out at the end. Next pile that I've got is the Hedgehog Fibers one, and this is something that I won. Um, there was an Instagram giveaway from Hedgehog Fibers which involved um, you and a friend. So you, if your friend posted and tagged you or you posted and tagged a friend, then you'd both win the full advent. Uh, so it's a really, really generous prize. My friend Helena, uh, Helena Makes, I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. Um, anyway, she's on Instagram and has also just done a first podcast episode. So it's like tangent and go and watch that because it was fantastic. Anyway, we were lucky enough to win. So these are the first couple of days now. I've really stupidly managed to mix up days one and three. I think I've got photos of them somewhere. Now I'm doubting myself whether I've mixed up days one, two and three. Anyway, these were the first three. So um, I'm actually going to show you them one at a time because it's going to look so much better. So we've got that first one, kind of small pale pinks, peaches. This one, which is a lot darker, kind of purples, greys, and this one is really bright and colourful. It kind of reminds me of a neon watermelon. So those were the first three days which I've messed up the order on. This was definitely day four because I still had it next to the box from this morning. Um, so this goes from sort of the orange and yellow up to sort of pinks and purples at the top. So they're all kind of themed on, I think the theme is just like speckles or something like that. There wasn't like a a themey theme that makes no sense but it was more a kind of a dyeing technique I think I'm making this up I don't know anything about dyeing yarn but anyway it wasn't like the Charlie the Chocolate Factory one where it has like a really set order right I've put number four back in its box and I'll sort the other ones later then the other one that I had which is another 20 gram is from Truly Hooked and this one is a Disney theme so I'd already bought the Giddy Yarns was absolutely adamant. I was only buying the one, it's my first year having an advent, don't need more than one. Um, then this one came out and couldn't resist. So um, myself and Karen, who is Knitting from Labradors, you may have seen her podcast or her floss tubes, and she's also doing Vlogmas. Anyway, we kind of talked each other into buying it. Um, her excuse was she's, excuse her justification, excuse, reason, whatever. She's using the yarns to make a blanket for her little boy. Um, I have 
no such kind of reason. I just wanted it for myself. Um, and you know, I was in a fortunate enough position to be able to indulge in that. So I'm going to show these one at a time just so you can really see the characters. Um, the way it works is you can open so like day one and then you've got until 8 p.m. on the second to submit a guess on an online form as to what you think day one's colour was and then the same second up till 8 p.m. on the third and so on um, and then at 8 p.m. she releases the colours so we know days one and two so far day three is getting announced tonight um, and day four obviously will be tomorrow so Monday the 5th in the evening so this was the first day um, it's not really showing up brilliantly actually but this colourway was Belle so Beauty and the Beast really nice sort of yellows um, Belle was my first thought when I opened it then I second guessed myself thinking is that too obvious um, but that's what I went for in the end so I got that one right the second one I didn't actually get right so this is the yarn um, having seen Karen's hers seems to might just be the way it's wound up but hers seems to have more obvious yellow in so only this colourway was Tinkerbell um, I think yeah there is yellow in mine it's just how it's been skeined it's not quite as obvious there so um, that's the downside of not working with them during advent but I want to save them um, I'm planning I think with this one to make a cozy comfort throw I will hold it with probably just a strand of undyed yarn um, just to bulk it out. I don't think it will dull the colours too much, too much. I do want them to kind of look as impressive as they really are because honestly they are gorgeous. This is the third one. So lots of greens. Um, it's got some paler bits in as well. I think what I'm actually going to need to do when I open them is because I'm not unravelling them yet I need to kind of pull some of the skein open and just look within it so anyway we don't know the colourway of this one yet um we'll wait and see I think Karen and I both guessed that it might be Tiana from the Princess and the Frog but I'm not sure it's very bold greens anyway quite looking forward to finding that one out tonight and the final one so this is today's I haven't got a clue so pink and green I am stumped. Um, I'm gonna have to just pull back some of the skein again here. So there's kind of slightly darker brownie colours in it. Um, gosh, I really don't know. I did a really quick Google for pink and green Disney characters. I don't think it's cheating really, but anyway, there is a character from Inside Out who's green and has a pink scarf. I've not seen Inside Out, so I have no idea whether this is like a good representation. I'm gonna have to think about it a bit more. Although now I am thinking about it, I am wondering if it could be, um, gosh, what's the, the one from Tangled, Rapunzel. Is she called Rapunzel in that? I just have another name anyway. Cause she wears sort of pinky dresses, doesn't she? And she's got the green frog as a sidekick. So I'll think on that one to have a bit of a kind of a hunt through it and see if it's got kind of yellowy colours because she's blonde I think I'm really struggling to test my Disney knowledge now so um maybe I should have been asking for recommendations of Disney films rather than Christmas films so anyway those are my three advents um as I mentioned my swap from Ellen is downstairs so I won't show that today um this will be the last kind of chatty bit um for the rest of the evening, I'm going to watch the football, I'm going to cast on some more socks and um, so a couple more pairs that I want to try and get done as Christmas gifts. So casting on that tonight, um, let's just see how far we get, so just relaxing for a Sunday evening. Um, I won't be really filming or vlogging anything during the week I don't think. Um, basically I do very little, I get up, go to work, come home sit on the sofa with my knitting so um, I've just not got the kind of the mental space to do vlogmas every day but I think what I'm going to try and do is do each weekend in Advent so 
obviously last weekend was technically the first of Advent in the traditional term, um, but just okay, each weekend of December might be the better explanation. So I'll try and do those videos, see how far I get with that. So anyway, I'm going to sign off for tonight and um, hopefully I will be back next weekend. Um, oh no, the final thing before I sign off, so I was going to really, really quickly just um, run through the vlogmases that I have been watching. Um, so Karen, who I mentioned, did the Labradors, uh, she's done it daily so far, they've been really nice to watch. Um, Ollie and Bella, has done a couple, I think she's maybe done two. Uh, she's not planning to do it every single day, which is you know, absolutely fine. I can't even cope with a couple of times a week, it seems. Um, and Giddy Knits, I have been watching Giddy Knits, Giddy Yarns. Yeah, Giddy Yarns is the yarn and Giddy Knits is the podcast, I think. Anyway, she's doing it. And um, if you do have space in your vlogmas watching, I would recommend hers, if not for anything else other than the fact that the revenue from her adverts are going to support their local food bank, which is a really lovely idea. Um, I make no money out of YouTube, so I can't <laughs> offer to do the same equivalent, but um, you know, if you've got space to watch hers, even if you just put it on in the background, let the adverts run, um, as I say, all her money from that that she says is going to the food bank. And then also this Nanny Knits, which is Lucy, um, I am watching, but I'm a little bit behind on. And the same with uh, Laura of Penrose Knits. So I think that's it for the vlogmas I've watched so far. Um, only so many hours in the day. I could sit and watch them all. So maybe I will try and catch up on some during lunch breaks and things. Anyway, I can see this has got to 10 minutes and there was the, uh, the Goody Yarns advent that is also filmed. So I am going to shut up now, leave you to evening. Um, if there are any photogenic, can you be videogenic? Anyway, nice bits to just get a bit more footage of, I will pop them in. Otherwise, I will leave it here and I hope you have a lovely week and enjoy watching vlogmases and opening your advents. And hopefully see you next weekend. Bye.